What's up guys? So today I want to talk about the sexiest and smoothest black and white film out there, my favourite, Ilford Pan F. Let's jump into it. Now I absolutely love Pan F. Uh, while HP5 from Ilford, I'm an Ilford man myself, you know, HP5 is my go-to black and white film because it is a 400 speed that you can push to 1600 and it is very versatile um, and still, you know, you still get really good details in your shadows uh, even when you, you know, you underexpose um, that film and you can save it in post a lot if you need to. But uh, Pan F, I think, is overlooked by so many people because it's a 50 speed because it is so goddamn slow. And it is. I mean, as soon as, as soon as the sun gets, goes down, even slightly, or you're in a, a shadowy dark area, you're probably pushing your lens as fast as it can go down to, you know, uh, 1.8, 1.4, you know, and sometimes even when I'm doing that, I'm still only shooting at a 30th of a second. So it's really, really, really slow film, but it is so smooth. I mean, the, the tones that you get out of Pan F are just so rich and silky that it's, it's like nothing else. And I, you know, on, on my laptop here in Lightroom, I actually uh, paid for and downloaded a while back the, the Maston Labs uh, film presets. Um, and I actually put a link in the description to, to their website. They've got some great stuff. And they have an Ilford pack. And with that, you get Pan F, HP5, and Delta 3200. Um, and the Pan F preset for, for setting you know, your digital black and white files is great, but it doesn't compare to film Pan F, shot on 35 or medium format. Like I've tried and I've tried tweaking photos and I just can't get them even remotely close. So that's why I love to shoot this film when I can. Um, most of the time, obviously it needs to be a pretty sunny day or um, I'll try and shoot this film if I know I'm, I'm going out for the day and I'm probably gonna shoot all 36 frames because I don't like to waste film. Um, you know, when I develop it, I don't like to, you know, it's, it's not a film, I should say, that you want to, you kind of want to leave in your camera because, you know, as soon as it gets dark, you're going to be quite restricted. Um, and if you want to change to something else, obviously, you're going to waste the roll by, you know, uh, reeling it back in. So you do need quite sunny, good conditions to shoot it. Um, or alternatively, if you're shooting landscapes with it, which is great, you're going to have it on a tripod um, and you don't care anyway. But for street, which is what I mostly do, I try and use a film when I know I'm going to go through the whole roll in, in one day or a set period. Um, but it is just such a smooth, sexy film. Like I just, nothing digital compares to it. I can't even, using the presets, which are very close to the, the Maston Labs presets, still can't get it close. So what we're gonna do today is, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna jump into the computer and I'll show you guys some of my favorite photos I've taken with Pan F and we'll talk a bit about them just so you guys can see for yourself um, about the film and from, from the photos might be something you want to shoot. So let's dive into the computer. Here we go, start with this one. So this was shot on one of the ferries in Sydney um, and I exposed for, uh, you know, for, for the woman you see there sitting behind this. So I exposed for the lighter areas because I wanted to black out everything else. But you can just see straight off the bat like how smooth the, the gray tones and the blacks. I mean, the blacks, you know, they're completely crushed here, but I was trying to do that. But if you look at, the you know your grayish tones and white tones they're just so smooth and even the detail um, this film captures being it's a 50 speed it is very fine grain and you get beautiful details so uh, next one this is at the university where I work and that's actually my girlfriend M um, behind there and they've got um, peacocks that uh, live down there so I shot this shot because you know we had a beautiful looking peacock you know, silhouetted against a bin filled with rubbish. Um, but you can just see here, this was at about four o'clock in the afternoon. This was all in the shade and I was exposing for the shadows here, but you just get this extremely rich detail. You can see the feathers, um, the feathers down here on the peacock are just beautiful. And even the dark areas yeah, between the bin and the trash there, it's just, I mean, you don't need to say much. You guys can just see the quality of this film right here and minimal grain, as you can see. Moving on, it's another one. And again, here, this is, you know, as you can see, see how M's a bit blurry and, and the peacock as well because it was just, this is the only drawback of the film is a situation like this here. I have my lens wide open and I had to shoot at a 15th of a second to expose correctly um, for the shadows and, you know, hand-holding with a moving bird's pretty hard. Um, but I still really like this photo. Just, you can see, you know, the black details between all the limestone bricks 
Uh, just beautiful. Uh, moving on, this is at a local cafe, and this is one of my favorite shots I've taken with Pan F. And this was, you know, uh, indoors. You just had the light pouring in from the, the windows on the right-hand side. And just look how smooth those tones are from, your, you know, your whites to your grays and your blacks. Everything is just super smooth. Minimal grain, very fine detail. I just, I love this film. Uh, this was on one of the ferries in Sydney. So this is bright daylight. Um, I was probably shooting at 500th of a second, stop down. So you can just see the detail in... Um, in the crewman there, the ferry worker, uh, super sharp. Everything is just crisp, beautiful tones again. You can see in the bottom of the area, the shadows um, are still well exposed and there's so much detail down there as well. Uh, this is a shot in, in my city town here at Perth. I got the, you know, the palm tree silhouetted against this tall building. And just look at those blacks and those dark shadow tones between the, between the windows. I mean, it's just awesome. I mean, you can try, but... You just can't replicate this with, with digital. I've tried to no avail. You get these super smooth tones, you know, again, minimal grain, but it's a really nice grain to look at, I think. Uh, one of the ones at Lunar Park here. So at uh, this time of the day, the whole front of Lunar Park here, this is the, you know, your big clown face was all covered in shadow. So exposing for the shadows. Um, and again, those really smooth, fine greys. It's just beautiful. I mean, a couple of scratches here from uh, me screwing up <laughs> with my developing. But again, beautiful film. Uh, this was in my city here at Perth. Now, this was, you know, I was down an alleyway looking up at an apartment building. Um, the vignette I added in Lightroom, the, um, you know, just it's, it's not my camera lens. I actually added that vignette to extenu extenuate the, um, the buildings. But again, you can just see all those beautiful tones. I mean, look on the, I mean, the, from memory, the buildings here it was, you know, they were bright colors. It was red and yellow and blue and, you know, all these different uh, tiled panels here were different colors, but just the way that those different colors give you those different types of, of gray shadowy areas is just beautiful. Uh, Merry-go-round when we we're at Luna Park again in Sydney. I mean, quite a contrasting situation, but the film holds up really, really well. And uh, this is uh, just near where I work at the university. It's just a cactus plant I decided to take a photo of. But you can just see, look at, I can't get over all the different tones um, and shadows and highlights you can see in this cactus. And you can see how smooth it looks. I mean, it almost, some photos almost doesn't look like it's film. You know, it's that smooth. But again, you know, this was a shadowed area and I'm, I'm on the limit of what my camera, um, what my lens, I should say, and hand holding, hand -holding ability can, can really do. Uh, to use this film. So there you go guys, uh, Ilford Pan F. So I, I, I just absolutely love everything about this film. I mean, if you can deal with having such a slow film um, and you've got some really good light to work with or you're gonna be shooting on a tripod, I cannot recommend this film enough. It's definitely one I started shooting that, that really, really kindled my love for film photography because of the results I was getting were just so beautiful and just nothing that digital can even compare to. And I mean, you shoot this on medium format and wow, I mean, I've, I've seen some people's photos. I've got a roll uh, somewhere in the kitchen that I've got to develop that I shot on a friend's um, 645 and I can't wait for to get those photos up as well. But I cannot recommend this film enough. So go out, buy yourself some, shoot it. Tell me what you think. Uh, hit the comments below. Have you guys you know, shot Pan F before? Do you love it as much as me? I'd, you know, I'd love to know that I, I'm not alone in, on this one. So until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Shoots with Coops. Happy shooting, and I'll see you next time. Peace.